plants get pollinated and get their seeds spread around in many different ways. The plant, called xanthosoma, or elephant ears, occurs naturally from Mexico to Brazil and has many domesticated varieties throughout the tropics. The domesticated ones, like malanga and dashin, are root crops, and the unfolded leaves are used in soups such as the Caribbean callaloo. This member of the arum family likes swampy areas, or at least very wet soils. Its flower is a spathe and spadix. The night after opening, the flower becomes hot. That's right, the plant generates heat, which is not a normal plant thing. The heat helps disseminate an odor that attracts beetles. As the night goes on, more and more beetles arrive to eat pollen and they get totally covered in it. The beetles eventually leave for another hot flower and thus pollinate the plant. Fruits then form and mature. When ready, the fruits peel back in a slow motion explosion. Some species have fruits that are orange, which generally means that they will be attractive to birds, which see color like we do. So the birds want the fruit and the plant wants its seed to be carried away to a new place. Of course, only a small number of the seeds will actually become a new mature plant. Now, here's another species of elephant ear that doesn't have brightly colored fruit. In fact, they're a dull green color. Now, who would like the green fruit? Let's see. The fruit begins its slow motion explosion in the early evening, and it's finally fully displayed by about 1.30 in the morning. Within minutes of being open, short-tailed fruit bats come in to devour the green fruits. By the next morning, only a small amount of the fruit is left over. So some elephant ears have their seeds dispersed by birds and others by bats. 